So I decided I went ahead and took the exhaust pipe off um, and I unhooked the MAC valve and the other vacuum line from the T. I'm about to take the manifold off with the turbo still attached to it. I'm going to take it home uh, with me along with the header wrap. Try to wrap that up over the next week uh, and try to have it ready to come back and be able to put it on uh, next weekend when I get a chance to actually come back over here to the car. But uh, because it's getting a little late, I didn't really get over here to do much today. I'm going to try to get some welding done, get a little bit done, but I'm going to try to go ahead and get this taken off so I can take it with me tonight when I do go to leave. And then tomorrow and that kind of stuff. And I'll videotape it while I'm uh, wrapping it and all that. And uh, we'll get that in there. But that's something I want to do. That's something I got to get done. So it's got to come back off for that. Once it comes off and gets wrapped, it'll go back on for the final time. And then it'll be finishing the exhaust, getting it wrapped. Uh, and last little bit of stuff. And uh, then the whole car can go home with me. And I can do the wiring harness at home. So, let's try to get as much stuff as I can knocked out and not waste time. Alright, this thing is heavy, so I had to set it down, but I got it off. Turbo manifold, wastegate, and turbo all together. Come off as one. And now it's not, now it doesn't have a turbo manifold on it anymore, but it's okay. It'll get that back very soon. I just gotta go home and wrap it. But, uh, just figured I'd show y'all what it looks like without it on. What is up, guys? I am out here working on the car today. Um, finally got a chance. Uh, got my day off. Figured I'd come out here for a little bit uh, and try to throw this thing together. And then... Uh, get the Hopefully try to get the header on. Um... I was able to get it wrapped. So I finally got it wrapped. I didn't wasn't able to actually get a video of me wrapping it, but it's actually finally fully wrapped. And so I got the wastegate back on it, and we're about to get it back on the car. Once I get it back on the car, then I'll actually get the turbo back on it. But that's what she looks like for right now. That's how I'm gonna run it. I ended up putting two bands at the top for each one, so hopefully we won't have a problem with it coming loose or anything like that. And uh, we'll keep the heat in and keep the engine bay temperatures lower. But I'll put it on there, and once I get it on there, I'll show you what it looks like from there. Alright guys, so I got it bolted back to the motor. It's back on there finally. But that'll do for the time being, and we'll keep the heat in the engine bay down. It'll also help with exhaust gases and helping spool the turbo. So, pluses all around. Alright guys, so I uh, took the line that I have with the 10A and fittings, and since it's going to be a pain in the ass to do this after I get it on the car, what I did was... I took and went ahead and put the billet adapter on the bottom and then the adapter that went into that that goes to the uh, 10 a n line that I've made that's super long so I can cut it to whatever length I need it to and I just got it on there finger tight at the moment so that way it still turns and I can get it angled just right so I'm gonna put the turbo on there get this angled right figure out how long I need it cut the hose at the length I need it and then I'll have a nice drain back line can mount the turbo and then I have the feed thing on top and we can hook up the feed line. Alright, so got that bolted down on here. Got it ran from right there, tucked around, and then I had to end up running into a hose that adapted it onto the actual thing because this hose is too small to actually go on what sticks out of the pan. So I had to adapt it at this moment. It's not the prettiest, but it should work for the time being. And we'll fix that. And actually get an A and bung down there on that pan and that way we'll be able to screw it on on the bottom and up here on the top but for the time being it's on there it's not touching the header and it should be able to get the oil back and not have any issues so if not I'll just shorten it up slightly but got that on there 
about to get this oil feed line adapter tight once that gets tight we actually put the oil feed line on it and then i'm going to get make sure that uh the ones on the back the end 10 lines for my catch cans are tight and once i get done doing all that i'm going to actually put oil in this thing and uh and then i can worry about uh i'll put the exhaust back on here because i got the pipe for the wastegate so i can try to run that in get that all tacked in place hopefully maybe today maybe not and uh but i can at least start getting towards that once i get that knocked out we get that fully welded get that wrapped get the radiator support which i'm still working on getting knocked out get that taken care of the radiator mounted once i get all that knocked out the car can go home and i can finish everything up at my house and i'll actually be able to get it quick done quicker so hopefully here soon i'll have everything knocked out that requires me to weld and then i can take it home so it's coming along we're getting there and uh hopefully it won't be too much longer so i got that on there got that tight got the bottom one on there and then we're about to run the actual line to it and get that on there real tight real quick and i'll show you that from there all right so got the oil feed line on it'll end up attaching to the upper radio support and tucking around it's slightly long because it was for an integra but that's okay we'll make it look good when i run it but we got the feed line on finally we got the drain line on finally so i went ahead and put two quarts of oil in the motor i got the the bung for the o2 sensor it's tack welded on but that's where this will go and that way run the wiring up over the transmission and uh then that way i'll actually be able to have an afr reading um we're going to take this and probably how this is going to work is it's going to come straight out of this 90 and run into this and we'll weld it in because this is stainless steel too and that way it'll just all come out that one exit but that's the plan that's what we're doing it's coming along got oil finally uh, pretty much all the oil hooked up and then we'll get that last little bit for the exhaust done we will get the wires for the distributor hooked up we will get the intake on and then get the rest of the oil in it and hopefully fire it up oh, i gotta get the battery still gotta get a battery that's not a big thing but then i'll be able to fire it up and uh kind of break in the rings and all that under no boost and then i'll just finish it off and we'll go from there but hopefully here soon we'll be hearing this thing crank up because it's all coming together we got the header wrap now which looks pretty decent we'll get the exhaust wrap once it's fully welded and done keep all the heat down in the engine bay as best we can but Hopefully here in the next two weeks, I should be firing this thing up, at least getting to hear it for the first time. So. All right, what's up guys? So I got the max valve solenoid, which is gonna be what controls my boost. Uh, so that way I can kind of have like boost by gear slightly. Um, but I always be able to change boost on the fly. I still gotta figure out the boost by gear with the ECM, but I'm gonna solder the joints together to this waterproof plug so i don't have any issues and then i'll do this side to the actual uh, ecm side that way i'll be able to plug it in unplug it not have any issues but i figure i'll go ahead and show y'all that is it gonna hold on let me see if i can't get the focus and then we're gonna get those soldered in i got the shrink wrap already on the wire and when i get that soldered i'll show you what it looks like all right so got it done soldered shrink wrap on it just look like two wires goes to a connector now so my mac valve is now well, has a plug on it a waterproof plug if i can get this off one-handed see waterproof but we got this on here and then i gotta put this on the harness side and then this thing will be wired up and we'll be able to control how much boost we make at certain points so 
that'll be neat having that on there but so uh, got that part done I got a few other things to do with wiring we'll get all that stuff knocked out as it comes along and hopefully get all this little wiring nightmare knocked out I want to try to get the fabrication stuff done more than the wiring because I can do this stuff at my house where I really can't do welding and the cutting stuff well, I can do cutting but I can't do welding at my house so I'm trying to get all that stuff knocked out but I figured I'd knock this out while I was since I had just got these plugs I figured I'd go ahead and do this so I'm over here messing around with this checking fitment uh, I may end up reusing this pipe that came with the intercooler I got end up cutting it some and then cutting it off up here at the top making it run straight from the turbo into a coupler and then straight down into here into the intercooler and then we'll go from over here up around probably through here I probably had to cut this open but up through here and then it'll run straight up into the intake manifold <clears throat> which I still have to get put back on the car but for the time being I'm at least trying to get this side of the intercooler at least get it set in place see about where I'm gonna hang it try to get mountain tabs idea of where I'm gonna mount it um, get all that taken care of and then kind of check fitment see whether or not I'm gonna have to go straight down out and around to come in or can I pull all this off just coming straight like this because it's gonna offset the intercooler off to one side if I do that which I'm okay with that doesn't bother me one bit but I just gotta make sure it fits behind the bumper over here on this side that when we go this far when the extra curves around that that doesn't stick out too far and actually mess up so we'll just have to check fitment see how this works out but just trying to give y'all uh step by step on what i'm doing keep y'all informed so y'all can see how this is coming along because here soon we'll be having the try to get this piping set up now that i got the oil line in it drain back on it um get the intake on it uh try to get the two plugs on the wiring harness that plug right here into the distributor uh once we get that taken care of and the intake on there we get the fuel line hooked up i got to get hats for the injectors i'm gonna get those on the way once those get here we get the uh, injectors in on the fuel rail on the intake manifold that's not on there yet and we should be able to fire it up and hear what it sounds like because i pretty much got the exhaust finished other than i have to uh, tie the wastegate down here into the bottom and then fully weld everything and then I'm gonna wrap it like I got the header wrapped so Keep some of the heat down in the I'm gonna get the snail uh, Blanket for the turbo try to keep the heat down in the engine bay Try to make some good power If you like what you saw don't forget to like subscribe Comment tell me what you like if you like what I'm doing if you don't like what I'm doing just let me know what you think if you like the build, think I'm doing a good job, the comments would always be appreciated. But y'all have a wonderful night. Peace out.